Welcome to 400 Bullets. Welcome to my many wounds. So 400 Bullets is about a Gurkha soldier who's stationed out in northern Afghanistan during the winter and he things are going pretty badly for him. He's got a, a lot of home issues, a lot of financial issues going on. Uh, a captain called Noah comes running into the base carrying a bunch of missile chips with him and being chased by his own rogue squad and the two of them have to partner up and essentially survive the night uh, and make sure that they can uh, hold out long enough for backup to arrive and, and bail them out. But uh, it's a full-on action movie, very sort of balls to the wall. Uh, it's my first foray into like you know pure action. There's no sci-fi. There's no horror to it, and uh, I'm just I'm just really proud of the movie. And this is where the fight breaks out into the middle. Yeah. But that's just so you know the geography of how you got there in the first place. And when I lose my gun and it goes under, I'd rather it went under that one. Yeah, yeah. Would you? Because it's better looking than we haven't seen it yet. So in the story, a squad that I'm working with turned rogue and they are trying to sell pretty scary missiles to the Taliban. And we're also, they're also trying to steal a lot of gold. And my character, Noah, is caught up in the middle of it. But they didn't anticipate him being so stubborn, I guess. I managed to get away with the guidance chips, which means the missiles that they want to sell are useless, and they come after me. And then I stumble across a Gurkha base, and then I meet Rana, and yeah they all come after us and we've basically got 400 bullets within the base to fight them off, the Taliban and the rogue squad, and all shit breaks loose. 400 Bullets is an action film, um, and I play Rana, a Gorka soldier, um, isolated in a basement, like a, a military base, and he has to go through the night, and the night goes crazy. But yeah, we've got quite a few military vehicles. Brand new studio here at Mosley Studios. Um, first shot off is going to be on a Movi. So we've got no, um, we got track and dollies, but we decided to go for the Movi so we can be a little bit more flexible, let the actors move. They got a lot more skills in this one in terms of the fighting, so it's going to be a lot more action. We shot in the middle of winter and it was a quite a tight schedule. So Tom was very clever to come up with a concept which sort of fit within the location and the studio and the new build. But at the same time, the story was based in Afghanistan and we had a special light which we'd actually got in from Chicago. There's a, um, a inventor, Justin Evans. The movie uses this uh, light called the Anthem One, which is a brand new piece of LED technology. It's got a really wide 160 degree spread in terms of you know the actual light itself and that sort of beam gave us a certain uh, even look to the light which kind of made it not look like a typical sort of film light you would normally stick on a in a night scene on a big field um, and that really helped to create a certain look um, which spread over the whole scene and gave it more of a natural something we hadn't quite done before which I think really helped to push that look. Because we want to just skim the surface of this. George has always had this keen eye for spotting this and he came to me, he's like, hey, I've found this piece of kit. It's out in Detroit, I used it on a shoot when I was in LA um, and I really think it would benefit the movie. And so from there, it was a case of me just really trusting him and his decision process there and going, well, let's, let's do it if that's what you want. And then I really left it up to him and he kind of, the thing showed up and you know, it gave us everything that we needed. I mean, we're shooting outdoors at night the movie was shot in December and we'd start filming around about 4 p.m. every day through till like, you know, 1 a.m. So it's pitch black in some of these areas and, and that light itself really let us get out into the field and really kind of give the movie this unique tone and texture that I think makes it look extremely high budget. Uh, you know, and for that, for that, I'm very thankful to George for keeping his eye out for it. Like that. Yeah, that's it, yeah. And then bring it back in yeah. here maybe. Yeah. We are doing a, well, just a quick little scene leading into the big finale fight scene. So we've got a little bit of dialogue and a little bit of shooting, I think, and then we are um, cracking on with fight scenes for the rest of the day. So there's a lot to do today. Man. Yeah. Well, I think it's safe to say our deal's off then, eh? And then you're coming through here, keep coming back. And here, you can now you know the sound, this is where it's coming from, because now the weapons are coming up. Yeah. yeah. 
He's just a happy bad guy. <laughs> Uh, the thing I was checking, there's not much, and I think there's none, there's no film about the Gorka in terms of action film like, like this kind. And that's why I was interested into, into doing this, because I was like, okay, what can we bring? Can we bring something new in terms of character, especially from, from who they are and what they do? And because we barely know about them, I was like, okay, it's good to actually show that side of, uh, you know, these kind of soldiers because their, their reputation is to be the most brave soldiers in the world. So I was like, why not? So I'm trying to put that into, into the fights. And then you see in the story, but that it's all about that uh, honor. It's all about honor. It goes into the, the, the relationship between the British soldier um, and the, the Gurkha and th them becoming, I guess, kind of buddies from completely different worlds and backgrounds, but they both have honor, you know, and, they're both proud of what they do, and they're not gonna, they're not gonna go down without a fight. That's for sure. And that's what, exactly what they do. They fight, and they fight, and they fight, and they fight. Uh, I think one of the lines in the film is, "Can you two just not die?" Because literally, I'm stabbed, I'm shot. We're hanging by a thread. So, but we still keep going. Darren, no, guys. Okay, so then all we're doing is, is that you come into that very first move yeah. and then bam, you cut and then it's just actual fight choreography time then, yeah? Right, and then we just spin around. So, you know, I was trying to take some inspiration from real-life Gurkha events. They're kind of legendary for being like the, the best warriors Earth has to offer, kind of, so to speak. And so I was always looking for an angle, like how can I do something with that? And, uh, you know, no one's ever done it before. Like, no one's ever, you know, made a film where, the, you know, the, a Gurkha is a lead character. So I kind of feel like the Gurkhas deserve their own Rambo, you know? Like, and that was kind of my trailer thought. And once that happened, you know, we sort of settled on this. Okay, we'll go for a an entirely fictional story. We'll borrow heavily from films of like the 80s and 90s and, uh, and kind of make this sort of, you know, Rambo-esque movie with a Gurkha in the lead and pay tribute to a lot of the Gurkha mythology and Gurkha stories that have happened. You know, even the, the title 400 Bullets has its roots in, in that stuff. And, uh, but at the same time, make something fun uh, and action packed. Tom is a director that knows what he wants and um, to have that vision is very helpful because he's clear about his instructions. As long as we've got the right angles, then we're gonna have a good coverage of that scene. The fight scenes in particular, he was really keen on getting the sort of, the grittiness of these fights, moving the camera with the actors. So sort of like, you know, let them, give them the platform to have the performance. We had the uh, sets built in a certain way where we could film in any direction. So yeah, I mean, these shots in particular, I think they stand up even more than I would say previous films, for sure. I've never done this much action before. Um, I love that kind of stuff though, I throw myself into it. I'm not as young as I used to be, so. You know, there's been a few injuries. I think I got my nose bust on the first day. Um, so there's blood everywhere, my blood. Uh, but you know, these things happen. So you kind of just man up and just get on with it, so. Oh, I've got a lot of bruises. I've got bruises that you wouldn't even believe. I've got this entire thing here is black. Um, yeah, so I've got, I'm covered in bumps and bruises. So it's a bit of a thing that I send Tom, the director, a little thing every day, a, a new pictures of my bruises. <laughs> but uh, working with Tom, it's fantastic because he's making films exactly the way that I want to make films, you know? Um, and he's very creative and he's very adaptable. And yeah, I think we're making a good team.